Genshin and Honkai's potential competitor for 2022 already has made an oopsie and the game hasn't even dropped yet. Now, what could I possibly mean by that? Well, let me tell you about a game called Tower of Fantasy, or its alternate titles for the same game, which is Phantom Tower and Magic Tower. Basically, this game uh, we used to joke about back when it was being tested was it looks like a ripoff of Honkai and Genshin. It uses a lot of the same elements and components. But what happens when they drop a trailer and literally use an asset from Honkai Impact? Well, that's the timeline we're living in because god damn it happened. And personally, I wanted to make sure I could find this for you guys to show you the video itself. And I scoured through Billy Billy and YouTube and they already took it off of all their platforms. And luckily enough though, um, someone in my server, Duke, mentioned this and also sent a screenshot of an article. So here we are. Checking out the article, I'm going to link in the description below the Twitter handle of uh, the person who wrote this article because bless up to them for getting the screenshots to show you what happened. So here we are with Fantasy Tower's uh, apology for using Honkai Impact 3rd assets in their own preview. Now let's scroll down and read what their, what their whole statement was in regards to this. Due to our negligence, we failed to discover the problem of misuse of materials in time. And, as of now, the existing materials in question have been arranged to be revised and updated. In this regard, we have conducted a profound review and apologized to our, all the typographers affected by this matter. And the second part of their statement also states, After verification, the reason for this problem is that the PV outsourcing process. The supplier used the material that is not in-game, and we did not find it in the time during the review. So, the misused materials in the video were released normally. Let me explain to you why that's a whole lot of bullshit. Because, as somebody who, one, worked in the gaming industry and still works in the gaming industry, I work in esports, and also worked in film, and when it came to outsourcing and editing videos for companies, this happening and being an oversight is almost impossible. This is them making sure they can shift the blame onto someone else without it affecting their game. Like, oh, it's because we outsourced it and it's the, that company's fault, not ours. They're trying to use a scapegoat here. And I'm not going to let them. I'm going to explain to you how this process works. Number one, if you are a game company, you need to give them deliverables. You need to give them assets in order for them to give you a deliverable, sorry. So you give them assets, such as gameplay, such as literal UI elements as well. You give them isolated elements from the game so they can use that within your preview to make the most aesthetically pleasing video. The only way for them to have this Honkai Impact asset is for either to be given that asset or to be using it as a placeholder waiting to be delivered the asset that they're supposed to replace it with. Now, that might make you think, okay, well maybe it was just a mistake. They used a placeholder asset, which was a Honkai Impact asset, and they never took the time to replace it, then it went live. It's not that easy. During the process of this, there gets to there gets to be multiple points in which the company has to interact with the video and the agency in which they hire to talk to the studio who's making the video. So we have two different companies now looking at these editors being like, yep, that's good to go. Give us that deliverable. Bam, they get their final product. Now with this final product, this has to go between three up to five teams within their company. The guaranteed three teams that will look at this, their globalization, their R&D, and their community management teams. Hey there, Editing Alicia here. And just want to let you guys know that marketing team is also one of the essential groups that will look at this video before it passes through. Continuing on, because they need to make sure that one, its analytics for social are strong, and its performance. Two, they need to make sure that when it comes to the research and development, that they're showing what they want to display in particular in regards to what they're planning to update or already planning to take out of the game, in case things have already developed to that point by the time the PV is finished. On top of that, globalization takes into account how many voice lines they're planning to use, when it comes to translations, if they're planning to do extra voiceovers for English, or if there's going to be an alternate cut. Things like this matter when it comes to a company publishing anything. Now, you may be wondering why I'm so heated. Imagine using the excuse that, oh, we just happened to glance over it and now it went up. What a mistake to make a. 
It's not acceptable. You literally ripped off an asset from a different game, even if it was a placeholder initially, never replaced it. It went through that many people and went live. Like you got caught red-handed stealing and using it in your own preview. This is not just something where it's like, oh, a little oopsie. This is disgusting. And I would be ashamed of yourselves if I were that game company. Like, it's gross. Shout out to Hoda Studio and Perfect World for being the two that worked on this game. Get your shit together. Um, I have no intent to play this game. I am already grossly disgusted by his displays of negligence like this. Before the game's even released, you're already this negligent? <laughs> really? Really? I feel pretty hostile about it because it's like, damn, imagine being the people who worked on those other games just to see your work being ripped off and placed into someone else's preview. Shout out to Mahoyo. I respect the hell out of y'all. Um, <laughs> and on a final note, one thing I want to make sure that I make pretty clear. I think it's okay when games take ideas and concepts from previous games. I find it funny, but like... That's how you make art in general. You improve or you revise or you make it your own and innovate off of previously built concepts. But stealing a whole ass asset is not the same thing. <laughs> it is just not the same. That is not making it your own. You are just using someone else's shit. Anywho, that's the end of our video here today. Boys, make sure to absolutely annihilate the subscribe button. Hit the like button as well to help me feed the algorithm gods. And I'll see you in the next video. If you got any more questions or want more updates for tower of fantasy i got you guys i got you also for genshin impact tonkai impact and anything gotcha gaming see you later